yeah, it's okay that you're not having any fun, because I'm having a riot. I mean, I appreciate it a lot. Look on the bright side, at least you're getting the standard action. Gabriel's still <laughs> walking to the fight. In my mind, Alex is just feeling the bow. He's got the new shiny bow completely unwrapped that he got just days ago. Itching to use it, still on his arm. Have you even drawn your bone yet, bow yet, Alex? Yeah, I shot a couple times at the last uh, set of ogres. Oh, right, you did. Okay, uh, then we're on to Gabriel. I doubled me. I'm done. Oh my god. You need to get yourself some better armor. Uh, then Gutrick. Uh, move five foot at the end and attack. Moves up and flanks an ogre. That's bold. He's got the power now. Marath is going to. Okay, it's going to be a great combo. Wonderful. He can he just give the attack command? Just have DD go crazy. Yep. Cool. Uh, before that, he's gonna five foot here, so he can then charge. I think that works, right? To the closest square, so he doesn't. Except that you're standing in a bush. Ah, uh, the bush. Damn it. Um, can I go? Go five feet south and then charge. Oh, but I, I can still do that. Okay. Uh, does that work? Or is that the bush you were saying was the issue? Yeah, I guess the bush is in the way either way. Those two bushes are very poorly positioned. Damn, I was so proud of that. Okay. Um, that was so close, though. Yeah, well, we learn, live and learn. Um, I guess we're just going to have to move. Uh, yeah, and we'll just move and five foot in. Um, that is the bush. Move here. And uh, five foot in. And... You can stand in the bush. You just can't charge through it. Oh, okay. Um, then I will go there. And I did my move so I don't get to attack. But at least I'm in position to do something next round. So that is the turn. You go, girl. Goot, you're up. Flurry of blows. Starting with the wounded one. Or I should say almost dead one. Oh, that's brutal. Three points of con damage. Or three hit points per level. That's a lot. What is that uh, feat? It's um, it... it's Touch of Golden Ice by the rules. Mine is Silvery Fire because I don't want to deal with the uh, dex damage. Okay. It's a, oh, it's an Exalted. I was, like, I was just looking for feats for DD on her hits, but... I don't think she's exalted, so never mind. No, I don't think she has the intelligence to be exalted. No, she only has an int of two. Yeah, she's just an animal. A very wise animal. Oh. 
that's how much damage from the common. Uh, so that would be three times eight. So 24 points of con damage, or 24 hit points from the con damage. And minus three to save. Not that it matters now that he has no uh, constitution. All right, that ends my turn. Okay, well, he will double spear you to the face. Thirty-three, that's a hit. That is. Not a confirm, but max damage. You can ask what your AC is. Thirty-three. Yeah, I I was like, oh, these things should actually be pretty good at hitting him. And then I was like, except that plus 13 means they need a 20 to get to 33. Uh, so they do 16 plus 13, so 39. Sorry, 29, not 39. 29 points for Goot. They hurt. Oh, yeah, they hit like a freight train. They don't hit you very often, but when they do, they fuck you up. That is the downside of only getting hit on a critical, is it always hurts. Okay, and then the other one will attack Marath. They hit. Forty-two points from there, two hits, and then the three in the back will five foot up. Really, that guy's not going to charge? Okay. No, they really hate Kraz. That's fair. I really try to give him an invitation, gift wrap it with that positioning. Oh yeah, DD would have. Uh, did you command DD to attack? Sorry, I was talking to my roommate. I did, but yeah, it's easy. Oh, another Kraz. Wow. Uh, only one hit out of six attacks. That's brutal. Beauty is a little stronger now that she has a greater magic fang. And it's a failed confirm, so you only take the 22 points of damage from the one crit arrow. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm super depressed too. Yeah, I can't luck that last one. I'm out of luck. It's all good. Okay, then we're back to initiative. I can. Again, if you yeah, want. Uh, it's okay. I mean, it's... All it's going to do is make me roll the dice instead of giving him max damage. If you want to spend your luck on nine points of uh, damage, you're welcome to. Oh my god, I roll one, like, every round. Um, would you say DD could have access to Stunning Fist since it only requires Wisdom 13? Uh, no, because she does not have the intelligence to learn something like that. Okay. The grapple makes sense, because that would be something that a monkey would do naturally, but yeah, there, you'd need specific training to learn how to Stunning Fist someone. That's fair. I'm just looking for feats to help her punch harder, do more things. Uh, does she have uh, focus? Oh, no, I totally forgot about the focus feats. Yeah, give her focus claw or whatever. She does claw, claw, bite, right? Yeah. Give her focus claw because that's two of her attacks. And uh, when she gets to eight hit dice or eight base attack, I think it's only six base attack, you can give her specialization. That's another plus two. Plus one to hit, plus two to damage across uh, two attacks is pretty nice. True. 
Just make sure you take that into account in your macro. Yeah. That's why I don't normally take things like that unless I have enough feats to do it for everything because I hate having different numbers. Well, she, that... has two, she has separate fights and claw feats or uh, macro. No, I understand that. You just remember that one is, if you take focus, then one's going to be at plus one higher. True. In uh, Lake's game, I actually went through and I set all my mac all of my macros to my highest base attack, and then I just put the minus in on the other ones so that I could just put one number in. But that was the original reason I got rid of the iterative attack penalty is I fucking hated doing it, just like rolling two claw attacks at full base attack and then rolling the bite at minus five. Um, I rolled initiative, everyone rolled initiative. Go, Alex. You get to do something this round. No, I should heal, though. You can minor. This round, because I'm going to... I'll just move action, heal myself this round. Yep, I'm going to heal Marath. I'm going to use all three charges, my Mystic Healing Ring. And do a faith healing one on Marath. Oh, thank you. So what does that give you? 33. He gets uh, 46 on my next healing spell. Wow. Negated almost all the damage I took. I appreciate That's it. it. One day you'll get to do something fun. Yeah, your victory is my victory. That's fair. Unless you enjoy playing God, if you decide he lives and dies in these fights. Okay. And that's kind of why I made this character. Okay, Gabriel's up. Let me guess. I'm gonna double move up and get close to the fight. Closer to the fight. Epic. Okay. Uh, Marath, you're up. Is there some reason you don't just run on the rounds that you double move? I'm really paranoid about taking the armor penalty. No, that's fair. I, I was just curious if that was the reason, because uh, that's how Marath gets up to the front quicker. That was two, so I don't get to five foot. Or I don't get a move, so I'll five foot. Um, on his body, I suppose. Um, yep, that'll be the turn. Am I in DD's mind? Maybe. I'll go see. Well, DD's not doing anything until you command her to, so. Oh, I thought you said if I did the attack, it would just attack any. Yeah, she attacked uh, the monster that you told her to attack. Oh, I have to do it each time. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's why it's so significant to have the druid do it because he gets to do it as a free action. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm too far away until I can uh, get away to talk to her telepathically. Anyways, no, it's fine. I know for next time I'll factor that in. Yeah, I, fi I figured if you're fine with it, it's just easier for her to follow you while I sit in the back and pew pew and be safe. Okay, Kraz, you're up. I'm going to first of all move action cure light wounds, my sir. So if action cure light wounds myself. Didn't you already use your swift? Yeah, I'm just gonna use a uh for or uh is it plus four? One, two, three, yeah, yeah it's a fifth level slot to do that. Okay, I'll just fast then. And then I think we just keep calling lightning. We'll call lightning on that guy again. Since these guys want to stay in it. Save or die. Yeah, I'm thinking it might have been a good idea for them to move up to the front uh, just to get out of it. But I didn't think that the battle would linger on this long. I really assumed you guys would move into the storm quicker just to stop them from pelleting with you with arrows, and uh, then it wouldn't matter. I mean, we might have if they weren't all focusing on crass, so it's like, I'm in no rush. That's fair. Uh, reflex save. 
DC 22. Also, I really didn't think about how bad that penalty was. Taking a minus eight penalty to hit, it's easily worth it to spend around every round, move up 40 feet, shoot, move up 40 feet, shoot, and then they'd be out of it. Yeah, like probably most of those last hits were going to hit. Yeah, uh, they're, they're ogres, they're stupid, so I'm not too worried about it. I try not to get too tactical when I'm dealing with dumb enemies. I definitely would have moved right to the front of it and attacked from there. That's fair. I am done my turn. Go, go, go. Plus two for flanking Goot. All right. I like it. That ends my turn. Makes the first check. He only hit once. Oh, the 18's not a hit? Not a hit. They have 19 AC, so unless... Unless you're flanking? No, that's including the flanking. Oh, okay, never mind then. I mean, I know you don't normally use it, but I'm going to offer it to you anyway. Septimus does give you a plus one against evil enemies. Okay, so he just takes a little bit of damage and dodges. Dodge. Plus, he's already got six con on him. Oh, so yeah, that's yeah. the same one. You didn't put the marker on him. Okay, then we are on to Goochur. I have to say, I really liked it when Goot wasn't here, because then I just stayed right on Goochurk, 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 and didn't have to switch back and, for, back and forth. <laughs> Man. That is with the flanking bonus, so first one misses. One. What, what are you attacking? Oh, you're doing Goochurk. Sorry. Yep. I am quite literally a pain in disguise ass. Fair enough. Okay, well, the other one will move up. And then at least Goochurk is, or Goot is uh, flanked. Still, swing and a miss. Well on Marath, though. Twenty-two points of stabbing Marath in the face damage. And then we are back to initiative. Ah, somebody killed my initiative token. Now time. Vengeance will be mine. That's like the third or fourth five I've rolled in a in a row for uh, initiative. I think so. There you go. A one. That's way better. Not natural to a natural one. There we go. There's a real number. Uh, 
Okay, Gucherk is up first again. That's He's just okay. wailing on him. Little by little. Okay, Alex, you're up. Go for the kill steal. Nice. Did you get the penalty? Yeah, he suffers all the penalties, too. But no problem. My favorite part about that is that's right when Gable would have been able to attack. He should be able to charge that one. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he can charge and provoke and hit that one. I don't think he'd provoke you, right? No, he wouldn't there. I'm done. Okay, uh, then we're on to Kraz. I'll land in that one. Sorry, what was that, Goot? Oh, finally makes a save. Nice. Seriously, you have to do the math on half of 32? Oh, okay, Marath, you're up. Nice. Wonderful. Um... Sorry, I didn't think there's a point in doing the trick for, for Didi for that one. That's fine. And move action, and yeah. Next turn, I promise. Okay, Gabriel, you're up. Just for the record, if you charge, you can get to that square. Or you can stand back. You could have charged without provoking. Okay, then we're on to Goop. Goot's fallen and he can't get up. Is it my turn? Yes. All right. <clears throat> well, I guess I'll attack the guy right next to me.
So he will also take 24 points of uh, damage from the con. Got an easy kill over here, somebody. Yep, he's going to take advantage of it. But he misses horribly. And we are back to initiative. As one horribly wounded ogre fights on. Can't get the steal this time. Maybe we should just surround him and let uh, Gabriel get the last blow. Should we? Come on, guys. Let's just hold him down <laughs> till Gabriel gets here to stab him. I'm honestly down for that. Do we want to? I don't think that'd be a good thing to do, would it? <laughs> Good shows up two hours late. Enters combat and does ten times more uh, attacks than Gabriel does in the whole session. It's funny because he got totally pooched by Kraz in the first fight. He did the cloud storm thing and the other ogres ran away from it. So he spent the whole combat trying to catch up with them. I think Gucci okay. will move up and do the kill. By like triple nat 20 things. Uh, that was 30. Let's five foot up. Let's be smart. That's some seriously tactical thinking. Not tactical enough. That is Clearly. Okay, Marath, you're up. Oh. Does he do it? I yeah yeah I'll, I'll move here I, I I'll move act can I ha move action like get Didi to just stand uh like block a retreat path without attacking um what commands does Didi know attack down stay defend track flank flank other perform flank yeah my flank is an attack so uh, okay well i'll just have her stay then well if she follows me she won't automatically attack unless i am uh yes but i assumed you were going to attack no i'm going to try and give it to gabriel so i'm going to move here he's even going to get the flanking well he already had the flanking but, uh, yeah, I will ready my attack to aid another for Gabriel's attack when he strikes. Oh my god, that's so pathetic. Okay, Kraz, you're up. I'm just going to hold my turn. Alex, you get to kill still. I'll pass. <laughs> if this thing like triple crits someone, I'm gonna walk away right now. <laughs> what would be awesome is to have him break from combat and go and attack Gabriel. <laughs> okay, well, he will turn on Dee Dee. That's rude. Well, he's seen a bunch of attacks on Goot do nothing, although Didi's almost as nasty as Goot. Um, but she seems like more of a threat based on her size. That's fair. Attacking you probably would have made the most sense since you're the squishiest and easiest to kill. That's true. Not going to attack Gootrick. He's not even a threat. He's just, yeah. a, just a fly in the ointment. Okay, Gabriel. Everybody has waited for you. 
to go absolutely last. Okay, you even have the aid and another. Once you attack, you get a plus two from aid. I move up and cast Shield of Faith. I would probably charge him next. Now would be the perfect time for a crit initiative so that the ogre gets one more attack. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even think with a crit initiative we could. Uh, unfortunately, Alex rolled much higher, but... If I had a 16 initiative, I have a good chance of beating everyone. That's fair. Actually, it's... He's only minus four, so it would be a 21. So it would almost beat Alex. He does get to go ahead of the giant this time. He might be able to finish it. If you all stand around and wait. Well, about supporting each other here. Okay. Goochurk is up first. Goochurk, I don't even think, cares. Yeah, fuck him if you can't kill him in time. Wow. He actually does it. First hit lowers the boom. I didn't actually think he could kill it. I just wanted to get him down to, like, two hit points. Now I feel like an asshole. All that works so Gabriel could feel useful and then you steal it I, from I, him. I honestly didn't think Ucho could do it. I, I literally thought he's only been doing five damage. Okay, well that was uh, a, a hilarious do battle. Have, do I have to use the second attack even though I rolled it? Can I not do that attack? I don't give a shit what you should do. I'm not doing that attack. One hit point. You realize Goochurk is first, and there's like four people to go before Gabriel. That's fine. I just don't want to be the guy. It's 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 like the last cookie at a party. Fine, Alex. Alex doesn't share your sentiment. <laughs> just nails him to a tree. <laughs> Okay, well that was ridiculous. Well, I mean, we're only playing for like 10 more minutes, right? Like yeah, no, it's not a big deal. I don't really care what we do uh, with game time. As long as everyone's having fun, it doesn't make any difference to me. When the Septimus plus 2 to Strength and Con wears off, do you lose the current, temp the current HP as well, or is it just off man? You lose the hit points as if you your con had changed. So you get the hit points when your con goes up, and you lose them when it goes down. Thank you. All right, Gook is five from the heel check. That's the shitty thing about um, con changes is because they don't really give you anything. They just lend you something. Yeah. You Mar get you the get... strength. Marath, you get four hit points back. Oh, thank you. Round of multiple fives. This is actually th this was a great session to get Gutrick up some affiliation. Yeah, ogres are awesome because they're your uh, oppositional enemy. CR eight is that still six hit dice or were they eight hit dice? Now? They were eight hit dice because they were hunters. Thank you. The other ones were barbarians. They were both CR8, I think, but because the Barbarian gives them full 
CR, and then they get two for being an ogre. Oh, okay, makes sense. Something like that. I should probably check the math on that. It just seemed like it made sense. I think it's based on the the standard ogre. But I gave them all barbarian hit points all the way up, so they have d12s and everything. That's why they had so much more hit points, too. They were only six hit dice, but they had more hit points than the eight hit dice hunters. I see, because of... okay. D12s instead of d8s. Yeah. Higher base attack, all that fun stuff. All right, Goot, you got 23 hit points back. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure if you guys leveled. I'm thinking that with fighting 9 CR8s, that's probably uh, going to put you over the top. I'd have to look at the math, but I would guess it is... Um, I have to look up how much XP you had before this, because I don't think you had a lot before this. All I know is we had a pretty nasty battle before this one. Oh, yeah, you guys fought the uh, Stone Giants. Yeah, where I spent over 400 points of healing. Yeah, that, that I forgot about that. Yeah, I didn't check the, uh, the log, so I don't... I always forget to open it up at the beginning of the game. I tend to open up the documents as I need them because I end up with so many bloody documents open that I can't even find the document I want in the pile. Yeah, the level adjustment for an ogre is just plus two. So. Ready to get my fifth domain. Oh, you get your fifth domain? Yeah. Nice. Did you take spontaneous domain? Uh, at level 11 when I get another feat. Well, you get one at 10th, too. Oh, you don't, because you're a thingy. Yeah, I'm not a cleric anymore. Yeah, being able to pick from five different spells is pretty fucking nasty. Sorry, just to confirm. So we did level, or we weren't? Yes, you have enough to level. Oh. Sorry, I just had to check the math, but when I took into account the, the stone giants, I was not uh, thinking about those. Oh, okay. Um, is it the same loot as the previous hunter? No, these ones... Then? Oh, maybe... No, these ones should be different, because this is a different monster. Might not be that much different, but... Uh, Difference different. Yeah, I think it's actually the same loot that the Barbarians had, just it's spears instead of clubs, just by happenstance. Thank you. The things that ogres prize don't change much between classes. Shocker. So that breastplate would also be uh, uh, dragon scale. Not that it means anything, just so you're aware. Are they all the same type of dragon? They are all green dragons, because the primary dragon in this area is green dragons. Well, I guess they're doing as a service. And green dragons are lawful evil, and they are chaotic evil, so that would be a, an enemy faction. Are you guys going to rest before you move on, or are you going to continue today? I've got a few spells still, not a lot. I'm fine resting. Um, we used a lot of resources in the past two. And if we're going to deal with a camp, we might need to be at our top form. Because are we... Not even... 
are we finishing or are we just going to go without Kenny? Uh, I was just going to call it here. Um, I'm not really a big fan of going on without uh, players. Yeah. I was just wondering. Like, if everybody wants to, we can. Um, but uh, story-based stuff is happening, so I kind of want to keep everybody in the loop. No, that's fair. I was just wondering. Oh, nice. So we are heading in a vaguely correct direction. I like it. Well, yeah, this was the uh, uh, the second chapter adventure. I just was expecting to do it a lot lower. This was supposed to be the adventure you started around 5th or 6th level instead of ninth or 10th. That's right. Um, so when we rest, are we going to level so we have it ready for next time we play? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. If you're going to rest now, then you can level up for next session. I now have proved 200 fighting. One day, I will take Great Cleave. You One still day. don't have Great Cleave? Well, I had to take the improved specialization because that just gave me two attacks, especially if I cleave. I mean, unless I'm surrounded by eight people, having three attacks is going to be more than enough. And now I get the 200 weapons, so I can pretty much always automatically max power attack. I mean, it's hard to pass it up. No, I definitely get the math on it. Sorry, did you take... You said the improved specialization? That was the one that only needed base attack eight, right? Yeah. Okay. I thought they both needed ten, that's why. I think uh, we discussed um, this last eight. time. Yeah. Fighter 8 or the BAB of 12. Oh, yeah, that's what it was, because uh, I don't generally make my monsters uh, PC classes. Mm. Yeah, because we yeah, were discussing that with the Giants last time, because they had enough hit dice to do it as uh, 12 BAB, but you already had it at a much lower level. Yeah. And, yeah, now I get bonus initiative damage and all the power. Oh, it looks like Kenny already bailed on us. Oh yeah, he bailed quick. Work happens. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering what's going on with him, but uh, no biggie. You guys got any uh, questions uh, before I take off? Nope. Uh, this is going to be an easier level than the other one, so yeah, no questions right now. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, well, then we will pick up next time uh, with hopefully you guys surviving the night. Make sure you keep your uh, current stats for next time for a nighttime encounter. Okay. But have your character ready for after that. Copy that. Okay, I'll catch you later. Later.